This is a zoo here in Australia. The one day I want to go to the zoo, it's raining. We're the only people here, but I'm not going to let the rain stop me from seeing koalas and kangaroos. They have over 200 different animal species. This is the truth behind being a zookeeper. We're back in dad mode. Let's go kids. Please. Hurry up kids, we need to be at the gate four hours before our flight leaves. Okay, those arrows are a bit sketch right there. And just like that, we are leaving Cairns and we're, we're heading down to Brisbane. All right, we are boarding the airplane. I'm the last one on. All right, we just landed in Brisbane. How's my favorite dad? Favorite dad? I thought your favorite dad was Ted. That was Tiger, Tiger Airlines. I'm pretty sure some billionaire. That's his passion project is Tiger Airlines because that was definitely not like a legitimate. Tiring. All right, so we're gonna get our rental car now. I'm a little nervous because they drive on the other side of the road here, so should be interesting. Hello. Hi. I think we rented a car. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you so much. Hello. Hey, how are you doing, man? Um, I think we rented a car with you. Nani? George? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, perfect. No worries, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They put the steering wheel on the wrong side. How are you gonna drive this thing? Yeah, this should be interesting. It's sick. All right, so, uh, yeah. The steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car, and we're supposed to drive on the wrong side of the road. Oh, she purrs. She purrs. <laughs> um, she handles? This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be harder than I thought it would be. The turns. So, yo, yo, what's that noise? The thing I'm worried about is the turns. Left and left turns are like right turns. And right turns are like, oh God. This just hit me hard, man. Okay, right turns are like left turns. And left turns, they're like left, left turns. turns. Oh God, this is a roundabout. The wipers are on. The wipers are on. Oh, oh my gosh, the car drives itself. Good morning, guys. It will not stop raining. So I'm not sure if we're gonna really be able to see much inside, but uh, we're meeting with Patrick, and uh, we'll just see what happens. George out. So today we're heading to Wildlife HQ. It's a zoo just outside of Brisbane here in Australia. The one day I wanna go to the zoo, and uh, it's raining. We have an hour drive now north to get to the zoo, and um, I'm a little, a little worried about it. All right, stay to the left here. She doesn't hit the water. <laughs> okay, everybody, prove George wrong in the comment section. You could dive in a thunderstorm you, safely. You could. No. Yeah, because there's nothing to make the electricity hit the water. Yeah, because there's nothing to make the electricity hit the water. <laughs> That is not correct. All right, George. Trains, rain, wild cassowaries. Yeah. Oh, is it hot? <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. George is increasingly curious about the marital status of Bindi Irwin. Yeah. Bindi, if you're watching this, what do you want her to know? I want her to know I love her. I don't take good care of her. I'm gonna turn. Do not get a turn. We just got here. I'm still learning the roads. Give me a break, bro. Maybe you shouldn't be so mean. <laughs> that you <laughs> All right, we've made it uh, here to Wildlife HQ. This is a zoo here in Australia where they have over 200 different animal species. All right, we've arrived at the zoo. Um, we're meeting our friend Patrick from Waterscape Australia here. And I think that's him. Good morning. How are you? You got a haircut. I got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to zoos when it rains? Do they just close or? We just get wet, that's all. Oh, we just get wet. <laughs> Thank you.
bike. All right, so Patrick, what's the story behind this place? Because I know there's a bunch of zoos here in Brisbane. Mm. How did this place come to be? So we're about an hour north of Brisbane, Sunshine yeah. Coast, and uh, Julie was working at a zoo in Brisbane, and it closed down. And she couldn't see all the animals leave. She couldn't see them all spread out and gone and split apart. So she pretty much sold everything she had and brought them all up to this spot here, which was an old petting zoo over the years, mm. and rebuilt and brought them all in here, and slowly over the years, made it better and better. Probably about five years, I think it is. Oh, wow. Wait, so they have they have koalas here and they have kangaroos, right? Yeah. We're the only people here, but I'm not gonna let the rain stop me from seeing koalas and kangaroos. So Patrick builds ponds here in Australia, and they just built this one a week ago. A week ago yeah, it's fully enclosed too. Yeah, fully enclosed. So. This actually looks a lot like my pond. Free ranging kangaroos and <laughs> emu entry. Please close gate behind you. You're gonna hop out of here. I was gonna say, what's the deal with the wildfires now? Did those ever make it up to Queensland? Uh, not really, and I'd be except like New South Wales, that was massive. But smaller ones? Mm -hmm. but nothing is made, you know. Uh, the all Australia's burning? It's, no, no, not true. It um, looks pretty wet to me <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's my dog. He's warming up, dude. Feeding him today. Whoa. It, it's these are African painted dogs, and I'm assuming they're a little bit like hyenas. Yeah, they're crazy. You should see when they feed them, it's pretty bonkers. Yeah, yeah they look like agile. Play. You can't outrun them. Native Australian dogs. Oh, wow. Eggs? They're feeding them raw eggs. They get a variety. They normally get a lot of meat. Uh -huh. but yeah. They find them wild. Yeah. Really? All right, well, we found a tree and Patrick's hungry. Wait, what are the? <laughs> <laughs> they're called carambolas, so they're a star fruit. Well, you want it to be a little bit ripe because they can be quite sour. <laughs> what? That one's sour. Come here, fruit. <laughs> oh, it's like those warhead candies. That hits the soul hard. Oh, he's not done them. <laughs> it would be like really good if it wasn't so. They're growing um, pomegranates here. This is my favorite fruit. These aren't ready to go yet. I don't want to waste it. They're such like a beautiful fruit. I wouldn't want to pick one before it's ready. That's the character from Disney Channel. From uh, iCarly. Gibby, or not Gibby. But... Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gibby. It's a reindeer. Actually, I'm... it's a deer. And, and it's, it's raining. raining. So technically, it's a rain. Right now, it's a rain. So right now, you're a rain George. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh, whoa. I don't even see it. Oh, whoa. So, this is a cassowary. It's like a bird that's a shark that is also a velociraptor. That was me this morning. <laughs> What's a wombat? Stay safe, buddy. Black face spider wow. monkeys. Striking the resemblance between this bird and I. <laughs> Like, yeah, they were fending us off together. Yeah, so the deer will stick pretty close to him at night time they cuddle up and sleep together. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's a little trifecta of friends here. It's really just a bunch of oddballs. We got the emu, the little deer, and then we got a kangaroo over there. The kangaroo definitely plays World of Warcraft. Look at him. The migrate. Oh, these are fresh water. These are the fresh water ones with the legal nose and small teeth for fish catching. So 
So in Australia, you can't keep any native animals as pets? No. You either. can't keep a kangaroo as a pet? No. And there are wildlife carers who bring them back to health, and um, people have special permits for it, but you can't keep a native animal as a pet. So. Oh, wow. here they are. That's them. Oh, that's one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you standing out in the rain, my dude? <laughs> it looks so funny. This is the truth behind being a zookeeper. You gotta come in on the rainy days. You guys are doing great. This is mango. 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 So you want both hands together like as a platform? Nothing to be worried about. Hi, my dude. Oh, he's so cute. So, wait, how old is he? Two years old. And he'll live to be 14? Yeah. Wow, he's just a little guy. And where did you guys get him from? Was so he, he bred here? Born here at the zoo. What type of koala is he? He's a Queensland koala. So we got two different subspecies, but he's a Queensland koala and a Northern koala. They eat eucalyptus leaves just like everyone? Just yeah. eucalyptus, and only about 10 to 12 species out of the 900. Thank you. All right, so not exactly the weather that we were hoping for, but we got to thank Patrick for coming out here and meeting us in this weather in the rain. It, it was worth it, so I appreciate you doing that. Um, he is Waterscapes Australia. He builds ponds, and uh, we were with Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, earlier. All right, so Patrick is back to Brisbane, and uh, we're off to Sydney now, so we'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out. <laughs> dude, vlogger dude in the rain. Let's go. This is.